Hi all, I hope you're doing well. This video I want to talk a little bit about AP Physics 2 specifically for the exam this year, kind of similar to my AP Physics 1 video. Now, if you're taking AP Physics 2, I still suggest you watch the AP Physics 1. In there I break down the exam format a little bit clear, and the Physics 1 and Physics 2 format are identical. Like, they're both gonna have, the first question is what they call a QQT question, a qualitative quantitative translation question exact same between physics 1 and physics 2 just the topics are different same with the second free response question it's the paragraph um paragraph answer uh question uh, exact same thing um it's going to be a a, a a standard question from the ap physics to the previous exams so uh, take a look at that video there i break down exactly what a qqt question is and what a paragraph uh, answer question looks like this video i just want to talk about identifying which questions are qqt because at some point you want to practice you're going to want to practice um what a qqt question is going to look like what a 20 and 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 what are the previous ones now it's 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 tricky every ap physics 2 exam has had one qqt question on it and one paragraph answer question on it however because some topics have been removed this year those past exams not all of the questions are relevant so only some of the qqt questions are relevant so i want to kind of go through the different questions that they have so a qqt question it will look like this. It will say 12 points, suggested time 25 minutes. Remember, your first question is 25 minutes. This is the exact kind of question you're going to get, or this style of question, okay? So this first one I'm looking at is from the 2019 AP exam, Physics 2, uh, free response question. This is number the number two FRQ. Um, they're doing, and, and what you can see, one of the things I want you to note about when you're looking at these questions is there aren't a lot of numerical computations. There's a lot of variable computations, and there, there are some numbers sometimes, some basic numbers that you might have to do, but I actually expect the AP, ex the, the exact exam to have very few like numerical calculations. Um, and that's, that's just, I think, by design intentional. It's gonna be a lot of variable and a lot of like um, expression and analysis, okay? So the 2019 question number two is the first QQT. The second QQT you might see, oops, um, is from the, 20, you have to go back to the 2016 exams. And unfortunately the 2018 and the 2017 exam, they're on topics that are not gonna be covered this year on the AP Physics 2 exam. So you, you can look at those questions for sure, but I wouldn't use it as like a practice because the material is not relevant for the AP Physics 2 exam this year. Here is um, the 2016 exam question number three. Again, you can see you can see it's not always the same number question. That's why I, I picked them out for you, and that's why in the previous video, the AP Physics One video, I explained which how to identify which question it is. But here is the 2016 question number three. It's 12 points, suggested time 25 minutes. So that's the kind of like that's kind of what you're looking for. Um, that kind of thing. And you see um, there, there's there's a lot of variable expressions here. There are some numbers on here, and so you're calculating it. But like, you see a lot of times you'll have like these ex short explanations, student one says something, student two says something, who's right, why are they right? So it's a lot of like conceptual and making sure you master the understanding in, in some of those questions. And, and the reason they do that, as I talk about in the AP Physics 1 uh, exam tips, is um, it's easier to tell when you're copying answers, or it's easier to detect plagiarism if, um, if, if with, with like sentences and stuff like that, because like not everyone is going to use the exact same words and, and phrasing and everything like that. Okay. Um, the next QQT question is from 2015. So this is the last QQT question. There's three QQT questions you can use from previous exams. Um, and that's just luck of the draw, really, in terms of this. But what I suggest is you use these QQT questions as practice. Like you're gonna like try them out, um, time yourself, see if you can answer them all, and then you can look at the solutions. Look at how I do them, or look at the scoring guidelines to see how you did on the question. But uh, I encourage you to um, really use these as an opportunity to test yourself. It's like this is what I'm going to, um, you know, drill myself like right before the exam, um, you know, maybe a week or two before as preparation for the exam. Okay, so that's the third QQT question. Now let's move on to the uh, paragraph argument. 
questions. So the paragraph argument questions are longer. The suggested time usually is like 20 minutes. They're gonna give you 15 minutes, so it might be a little bit shorter. But um, it, from the last year's examination, it was the first question. And so they're talking about, it was very qualitative, uh, you know, an object moving and the possible path through an electric field or a magnetic field. And that was it, like it's pretty, that one was um, pretty short. Um, I, I might not have copied the whole question. I think I just, you know, put it there, but like I might have left out the other parts of the question there. Um, 2018, number one is um, a similar paragraph argument question. Again, what you're looking for is something that says something like, um, let me see if I can find the wording here. Oh, in, um, in a coherent paragraph length response. See that this section right here? In a coherent paragraph length response, blah, blah, blah. Okay, that, that, is the, that is the crux of a paragraph argument. You have to write about a paragraph of explaining using physics concepts about what's happening in a situation, okay? So that's what they mean by the paragraph argument. Okay, so 2018 number, first question. The, uh, the 2017 examination, question number four. Again, um, you can see in a coherent paragraph length response. So that's those are the kinds of questions you're looking for. That is the paragraph argument question, okay? And then let me see, there was more of these that just happened to just, again, because the topic of the previous exams for the paragraph argument just happened to, Overlap more with uh, what the um, what what the the exam this year is going to cover. So on the 2016 exam, number four is the question. Okay, it was a circuit question, um, and then again, there's a part where you have to say use a paragraph length response. Um, sometimes, yeah, justify your circuit diagrams with a paragraph length explanation referring to properties of light bulbs. Okay. Now, some of these ones require drawings as an explanation. See, it's all words here, and you have to do sketches. And so um, I'm curious. I'm going to find out more about what the computer entry input is going to be like. Like, at this point, I don't know, but they're going to release more information. I'm going to suggest you do everything on paper. You're going to be given five minutes to upload your answer into the system. Like, after, you're after your 25 minutes is done, you're supposed to be getting, like, five additional minutes to upload your answer. So um, I'm going to suggest that you, you, you do it on paper for now. Until I see the system and see if it's any good um, in terms of how, how you can enter stuff in. Because you're, you're, you're going to want to sketch stuff. You're going to be used to doing it by writing. It's, it's going to be weird to do everything on the computer if you're not used to such a system. So anyway, that's that's a tip in there. And then that was it. Those are all the questions that you can use for practice. So look at those questions. Use those as a, an idea of the kinds of questions you're gonna ask. And I would really use them as like uh, testing yourself. Like if you haven't done these F FRQs before, try to do it from scratch. Put a timer down, give yourself 25 minutes for the QQT question, give yourself 15 minutes for the paragraph argument and see how it goes. So I uh, hope you found that helpful. Um, leave a comment if you have any questions or if there's anything, and I'll, I'll do my best to answer it, all right?